Hello, this is Bill with my April wrap-up. So I read four books in April. So first I read Century Rain by Alistair Reynolds. So this was was a very good read. Not not quite the same as his usual space opera. So in the beginning of the book there's two storylines. One takes place in a alternate version of 1950s Paris in a world where World War II never happened. So it reads like a hard-boiled detective noir murder mystery. And the other storyline is 300 years in the future after Earth is become uninhabitable because of runaway nanotechnology called the nanocast and then a few years later there was a smell where caused the great for forgetting where all databases were wiped out. So in uh, 300 years in the future, there's basically two factions. The one that lives in space habitats near Earth, which rejects advanced technologies. And then the other faction, which lives farther out, uh, embraces the use of nanotechnology and artificial intelligence. So as the book progresses, the two stories merge into one. But it may be a little surprising if you're expecting a normal alternate reality or, or, or time travel story. And then I read Minotaur and a Mushroom Maze, which is serialized in May, June, and July, analog in 1976. So this story involves particle physics, stock fraud, a religious cult. So it's was an enjoyable story, but what didn't blow my mind away like it did in 1976. The particle physics aspect of it is seems a little more realistic now, since I worked in a as a technician in the physics department for. 33 years since I read that story the first time. Then I read Lilith, the Snake in the Grass by Jack L. Ch Chalker and Cerberus, the Wolf in the Fold. So in the 
four Lords of the Diamond series. There is four worlds discovered in one solar system that were habitable. And when they were first dis discovered by somebody called Warden, their orbit configuration formed a diamond shaped. So in, on Lilith, there's a, an organism which infected the first scientist to land on the planet. And before they knew they were infected, they spread it to the other three planets in the system. And this organism in, in invades all living and non-living matter. And so once you're infected, you can't leave that system because it, it will die and then and then you will die because that has changed every cell in your body. So the effect on Lilith is that it gives you if you learn how and have the ability It allows you to influence other life forms and and reshape matter to some extent. And the effect of the variant on Cerberus is that it allows mind swapping, which normally happens when you're asleep, so you have to be careful who's nearby when you fall asleep. Because chances are you'll swap bodies. And I'm currently reading Sharon Dragon at the Gate. So in on Sharon, uh, the organism makes magic possible. So you have to watch out for the sorks. You don't want to offend them because they'll, they might transform you into something. And Medusa, I'm not, I don't know what effect the organism has. So I haven't got to that book yet. I don't remember anything about these books from my previous read many years ago. spin my winners were the universe and Dr. Einstein and cards on the table by Agatha Christie so hopefully I can get started on these two books I have two months to read them before the next book to spin It would always would be good to read another Alistair Reynolds book since he's my favorite science fiction author. I should get around to reading all of his books. But 
I still haven't read the Revenger series or Medusa Chronicles, Permafrost, and the Pushy Nice. And I haven't read the Poseidon Children's Trilogy. Then there's Horror Mayhem books, which you can see the books in my Horror Mayhem video. But it's Hamlet for the first week. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde the second week. And Maybe some Edgar Allan Poe. And then a book I missed in my Horror Mayhem video was a picture of Dorian Gray, which would be another one that would work for Gothic Geek. And then I'll read at least one story out of Haunted Canada, the book. So may, may the fourth be with you. I don't have any st Star Wars books, so I can't read any Star Wars to you. But I do have some VHS, if anybody remembers what those are. Phantom Menace. Empire Strikes Back. Turn of the Jedi. In a special edition of Phantom Menace. Or no, that's a new hope. Did I say a new hope for the first one? Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. And Star Wars 1, which was the fourth movie. Star Wars 2. It's more modern technology, but DVDs from out the ancient technology. Star Wars 3. And the other movies I've seen on Netflix. I didn't keep up with with the new releases very well, so I may have missed watching some. So that's, that's all for this video. See you in the next one.